What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Nucci Podcast. It's uh, just me and Danny this week again. Uh, uh, you know what? What happened was I realized that it is very tough to find interesting English-speaking guests in Korea. Consistently, yes. But we did a pretty good job. We, I think, we had six guests in the last seven episodes. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, so I'm expecting like uh, like 150 views on this episode, but yeah. uh, but whatever. Fuck it. It's still the Nunchi Podcast. Yeah. Stanny and Bobby, uh, Bob, uh, it is your your birthday's coming. Yes, up. my birthday's coming up this Saturday. You're gonna turn the big fo fo. That's true. Fo 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 fo. Um, yeah. At 44, do you expect? Okay, what kind of gifts do you expect at 44, my friend? Oh, I don't expect any gifts. I just uh, literally no gifts. Yeah, I, I like you mean like uh, like am I gonna get like a iPad or like a AirPods or a money, booze, f- dinner? Nothing like that's planned. Oh, except I have a show. I'm playing a show at Rush Music Bar on Saturday, hmm. um, and it just happens to be my birthday, so I'm calling it a, my, my birthday show. Hmm. So uh, hopefully, some friends will show up. They don't have to stay for the music, but come and have a drink with me or uh, give me a high five or something. So did yeah. you, did, I mean, aside from putting it up on your socials, yeah. did you aggressively invite people? No, no, I, I didn't. Because I don't really, I don't necessarily want people to come for the music part because mm. I'm just getting back in the saddle again. Mm. And so I don't know how it's gonna, you know, like you don't wanna like, blow your wad wad right? right so i uh i'm just getting back into it and i don't want people to be like who is this clown you know like i don't want them to bring their friends and like i just want to like do a soft relaunch i guess uh and then just play some songs that i haven't been able to test out um, mm, so it's going to be like a, a fairly new set I, I guess yeah nothing that i have recorded yet so i guess it's still like music that I'm still testing out and seeing if I want in the next album. Uh, I want to uh, tell you that if there are people, if the people that come, mm-hmm. your friends yeah. who know you, yeah, they already are going to be like, who is this fucking clown? <laughs> 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 well, so, I mean, I do have some people like, so enough that like, I, I'm excited. So I have, I, I, I put on the poster that special guests were coming, but really it's just one for now. Mm. And then if you come, then you'll be another special guest. <laughs> <laughs> so one special guest is uh, just is Dolly, right? Dolly from my film, from No Brain. And he's yeah. gonna come, he's gonna play at least one song with me. And then he's gonna play maybe one or two of his own songs. Ooh. And then um, I'm trying to get sung from No Brain. He says he's gonna come. Mm. But I'm gonna just put him on the spot and have him play a song. <laughs> Wait, you're expecting song. me to tell dick jokes at at, at the bar? No, I, special guests like you don't have to do anything. Oh, okay, you just okay, be okay. there. Okay, right? all right, okay. And then I, I'm hoping some other uh, people will come through just so I can see them and hang out and like everyone have a good time. Like generally speaking, our friends are a good time, right? And if half of them come, uh, then everyone's gonna have a good time. So please, uh, everyone's welcome if you're watching this and it's before Saturday, uh, May 7th, um, please do come out. Um, I'm gonna probably be there around six o'clock, show's at nine, uh, but I'm gonna you know, throw a few back. It'll be fun. Nice, nice. Yeah. Uh, I uh, was gonna say that I was gonna break my uh, no drinking policy for your birthday. Oh, don't do that. But I already broke it. Oh, you already <laughs> this, broke it? This yeah. past weekend. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, dude, you it's, did a been good a, job, though. it's been a long time since I made a... How long did you go? Three weeks. With, without alcohol? Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of you, Danny. I, uh, it's been a long time since I made a kimchi jen on the street. <laughs> <laughs> and I made some kimchi. Did you really? I made some kimchi on the street. I fucking threw up, man. Oh, really? It yeah. went that hard. Yeah. I I figure you you just broke 
broke it with like one drink or no like, uh, you no, went no, hard. no 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 uh so this is the business mind of danny cho yes i said it in third person <laughs> so uh a few months back i met a bunch of rich ass nunas right okay um and i met them and they're they one of them randomly cacaos me going hey i want to see what your show i've uh -huh. never been i said yeah all right come mm -hmm. so she comes to the show and her and her three other friends go and buy like like drink like four or five bottles of wine oh okay right okay. but you know at the comedy club it's shit wine right oh yeah it's like yeah yeah it's just like it's shit wine it's table wine it's it's like the cheapest thing you can find at a penny jump when it comes to the wine right that that one thing that was one note I had for you, yeah. like uh, it's okay that it's like the Pony Jump price, yeah. but don't have the actual Pony Jump brands <laughs> like the that's, same that's, ones. That's that's what I that's what I told yeah. them. But as you know, uh, with anything in this country where I'm involved, yeah. no one fucking listens to me. <laughs> I right? felt we were drinking like that. Uh, I ordered a bottle of wine right, there right. once, and I and I realized, hey, this is the same go-to wine I get at the penny gym for Manon. Right. And right. I'm paying here like three, four times that. Right, right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they buy a bunch of wine yeah, and then yeah. we go to uh, a Pojang Machan Hongdae where I met them at, mm -hmm. where my Hyung, who's the owner. Uh -huh. is. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, so you end up there. Okay. We went up there and <laughs> that Hyung, I told them, you know, I'm bringing those, 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 this, those ladies. Your nunas, or, and he was there, and he's oh, okay, 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 okay. Mm. And we drink a ridiculous amount of soju. Okay, right. When you say that, I know it's ridiculous, right? Like, and then that, th that's not where it ends, my friend. Okay, right. Then there is a Latin music bar like across the street. That always just plays Latin music? Yes, it's called La Bamba. <laughs> okay. Right, right? So people... la, 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 la Bamba. Yeah, we went to La Bamba. Yeah. And the young orders like six bottles of Dom. Wait, wait, wait. Champagne. You yes. went from soju to yeah, champagne? Yes, yes. And you know the, the, what do you call it? Is it like called X-rated or that like liqueur that's like colorful? That's a peach flavored? No, I don't, but. So he ordered a few bottles of those. So uh, we're mixing champagne with oof. this shit, right? Okay. Uh, and that's when my brain went, I, uh, I can't drink. Were you da dancing? Salsa dancing? Oh, I was, I didn't know that I was dancing. Yeah. But people have taken video footage of me dancing. Oh man. I there is footage there. of me also uh, making kimchi jan on the street. <laughs> They got you. They got and they you. were like, we've never, seen, the comedians have never seen me throw up. Wait, so everyone wasn't just as drunk as you, it was just you? No, no. Uh, everyone was messy? Everyone was messy. Okay. But I think I was maybe in the bronze medal of messy. Well, you just went, you just went three weeks without drinking. Yeah. So you probably should not have yeah. but the, attempted. But, but the reason why I drank was because for three weeks I did not drink mm -hmm. and I got a gout flare up. Yeah. Right? And yeah, it's not like right. I ate fucked up shit. Yeah. Right? So I go to the doctor, they mm -hmm. give me the, the painkillers. Pain killers, and I was like, hey, doc, though, mm -hmm. question. I didn't drink for three weeks. Yeah. Uh, I didn't eat anything crazy. Mm -hmm. What seems to be the issue? And they were like, have you been working out? And I was like, yeah, I mean, not aggressively, but I've been working out. He's like, yeah. well, the only thing that, could, that, that I can think of is that the purines in your fat are being burned and going into your bloodstream yeah. faster than your kidneys can pump them out. That's the only, that's exactly what happens. Right. So you're, you're not, uh, yeah, once right. you burn a lot of fat, Right, you're not drinking, so you're not gaining like right. any right. So uh, all those crystals have nowhere to go; they're right. not flushing out. Right. Your fat is burning, right, and the crystals are are building up, right, right. And then so you get a gout flare. Yeah. So I yeah. asked the doctor, "What should I do, doc?" Mm -hmm. And he goes, "Work out slowly." <laughs> <laughs> what? 
And I was like, yo, what the fuck? That's yeah. some bullshit. But you he's know? right. You you have to do everything and uh slowly, actually. You have to lose weight. You can't lose weight fast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't burn fat fast, unfortunately, yeah. if you have gout. Yeah. You have to do a little bit at a time and then you have to flush out as much as you can. Drink yeah. lots of water. Oh, dude, like, I, I've, I've been drinking like two liters, no, four liters of water a day, right? It, it's, it's been a while since mm. there's been bubbles in my pee. Oof. Okay. Right? It's just pure, just mm. clear water, you know? So Damn, I feel for you. Though. So, so I got angry after yeah. that diagnosis. Yeah. And I said, you know what? Friday, fuck it. Fuck this non-drinking shit. I'm going to uh -huh. go hard. Surprisingly, on Saturday, yeah. hangover, no gout. No gout. It didn't hurt at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so I was yeah. like, oh, I just feel like shit, but I can walk perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe my body's like, it's like opposite. You drank a lot. Did you eat a lot too? I did not eat a lot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I usually want to have a gout flare up. I don't touch alcohol and I just drink water mm. just to get it to flush everything out faster. But really, it's like if you're drinking alcohol, you're kind of gaining fat. You're gaining weight, right? Because mm -hmm. of all the sugar. The calories, and stuff. yes, yes. So maybe it's covering up the the crystals and right. stuff. I, anyway, this is... Or, or the other thing I can do is lose, get to like... Five percent body fat. Are you coming to my birthday party or what? Are you gonna drink? <laughs> Are you gonna have a drink with me? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna go come drink. I just I I I didn't I haven't called it a birthday party. It's not a birthday party, but I guess it is. Yeah, you it's know? a fucking birthday party. Yeah. What are you talking about? And so spread when, the word all right oh you want me to spread the word uh, just to our friends okay because okay, okay. i haven't seen anyone you know we haven't seen anyone and and you know like it's like a good opportunity for us for everyone to get together you know right so make them go to your show saturday night it ends before nine right yes and then just hurry over to to rush you don't have to watch me play but have a drink with me after of course right so get let that's the plan all right so if you're friends with us or if you're fans and you listen to the show and you happen to be in seoul please go to danny's show on saturday and then come to rush to hang out with us after and let us know what to, what you like about the show what we can do to improve it let's let's improve together right like let's make this a successful. Yeah, i mean don't come to my show uh, <laughs> not, not on saturday um so the uh, the reason why I brought up the business thing, yeah, was that if this young is going to buy fucking five bottles of Dom, yeah, I I wanted to ask you how much each bottle was. I don't remember, but it's got to be. Come on, like even if you buy it retail, right? Like or or even I don't know what wholesale price would yeah. be, but it's still like if you if I bought it at a, at a wine shop, mm. Dom is like two hundred bucks, right? Right? Yeah. So, so it's I, usually three x. So at the yeah, it's gonna be like six hundred, seven hundred dollars yeah. minimum, and right. you guys got six bottles. Yeah. Like this young is like, what? He doesn't like making money. <laughs> like, what, is he making that much? At he his, like, he just likes to spend money okay. on booze. And the reason why I said that is because I have my hour show on the twenty first. Mm -hmm. And as a young, you better come to that. Uh -huh. goes, oh, okay. Oh, the hour one. And then, yeah. and then he goes, uh, oh no, no. You better stock your bar with Dom Perry. Yeah, and I was like, I was like I, and then he was like, no, Kokozo, I'm gonna buy at least two bottles of Royal Salute. And I said, all right. Oh, how much does that go for? Uh, retail at the club is 750. Damn. All right, yeah, okay. Two bottles yeah. of Royal Salute. Yeah. All right. So he just- Can I sit at his table? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so anyway, that's why that was me going, uh, you know what I realized that in my life, when it comes to doing business, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? When I was younger, my parents were like, uh, you should learn how to golf because uh -huh. that's where businessmen do business. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All my business have taken place in, uh, inebriated situations. Okay. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, and I can pinpoint like some of the major deals yeah. you've made. Yeah, yeah. And it's always been at some bar or yeah. some yeah. Norebang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, and where, 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 where I've, uh, I've, 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 you know, helped bring in, yeah, you know, a few, a, f 
a few hundred thousand there, a few whatever. And I was like, damn. I, I realized that uh, that is probably, if I was a salesman, mm-hmm. I'd be good, but it would only be in those situations. If you need Danny to sell something for you, uh, Danny, you just need to give him an expense account. Give yeah. him a card. Yeah, give me a card. I'll sell. Uh, he'll, I'll sell, yeah. dude. I'm not gonna tell you what company, but yeah. before I quit my old, old job, mm-hmm. I uh, did business with uh, a, a big company, mm-hmm. and I took the CFO to a strip club. <laughs> yeah. did, did did you get the deal or what? Okay. I got the deal. Um, and I told my boss, "Yo, up to how much can I expense?" He's like, "Come on, man! Like, don't don't get too crazy." He's like, "All right, all right." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm, uh, what can I say? It's what I'm, what I'm good at. What can you do for my music career? <laughs> Let me, I'll give you an expense account of a certain amount, but you have to, you have to sell me on it. I have to wine and dine somebody that's that, that will take you there. Okay. Right. So like, see, like, okay, obviously you're not gonna, you don't belong in, um, BTS's group, uh, label. Yeah. I don't belong uh, on r- stage. R- r- clearly my music has you know it it fits for like to be in the background and and like like soundtracks and right i mean that's where i've i've done the best yeah soundtracks jingles tv not jingles but like you know what i mean like tv you know yeah yeah Yeah. stop trying to like bring me down to like jingle level Actually, jingles would dude, bring in a lot of money. Dude, <laughs> we we talked about this in like a very early episode about yeah. like iconic jingles. Yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah. And we still haven't made our jingle. We haven't made, uh, what is it? Uh, the sequel to Baby Shark. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Although I, I do write a lot of kids songs these days. Uh, just because just like, I yeah, anyway. I, I did write my own kind of baby shark song mm. about a hippopotamus. Mm. <laughs> I was just looking for words that um, are, are fun to say, um, but you're you gonna know, you're gonna get Benji to say hippopotamus. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> That's a tough word, man. Hip hop anonymous. <laughs> um, did you when you were younger? Was there a word? that like it was just impossible for you to pronounce there's a word in korean i still can't say ishishuge ishishuge do you know what i'm trying to say toothpick is, is, yeah ishishuge ishishuge <laughs> <laughs> i can't why does it sound that japanese shit? to you I don't it sounds know. like a japanese baseball player's last name uh, like i it's like one of those words like just i can't i can't get it stuck i can't get it right I sushige. I sushige. Mm. Yeah. Ask me again next week. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 but you won't remember because. I don't know. It's just one of those things. I, like I, I have a mental block. Wait, wait, isushi way. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of this episode. I'm Is- going to try to spell it. I, I, I sushi without way. Any, any help from Yo. Google. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a cholo. <laughs> Um, eating sushi for the first time, telling his friend to eat sushi. Eat sushi, gay. <laughs> eat sushi, way. <laughs> sushi, <gay. laughs> Eat sushi, way. <laughs> oh man, I mean, my 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 nephew has a viral video on uh, YouTube. Well, he had one, and my my sister in law made me um, take it down hmm. uh, early on. She let me put it back on later on, but. It's him trying to say dump truck. Yeah, yeah. You know, because he really likes the movie Cars. And anyway, there's a dump truck in that mo- in that movie. And so it just comes out as dumb fuck. Mm. Literally, that's mm. what he says in the video. I, I know the video. And um, it's so cute, you know. But I try it. I, every now and then I try to have Benji say dump truck. Mm. But he, whatever I ask him to say or repeat, he, he never does. Like, um, unless I like, it's less I'm leaving the house. Actually, mm-hmm. I think you were trying to make a viral video the other day. With Benji? I, yeah, because I saw yeah. 
you and your wife yeah coaxing your son to say shimbal oh yeah 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 but yeah. i knew what you wanted to come out yeah, yeah. <laughs> well because it does come out as shibar all the time but when we're filming him yeah. he just something happens like he knows that he doesn't like to um if we're filming him mm. he he doesn't he doesn't like to um you know like do do what we want him to do. Oh, Marlon Brando yeah. style, huh? So he just goes off script. Yeah, he's very um yeah, yeah. He, he's hard to coax <laughs> into doing stuff. Man, I'm in one of those moods where you remember last year or a year before that I was just like fuck this, fuck everyone, fuck all the mm. things. And I'm kind of in one of those moods now, you mm. know, but to be honest, it's not. But this time around it's like it is that, but it's also because I, I'm very disappointed in myself too. Like I'm, I've been very, I don't have time to be depressed these days, mm -mm. but I, I feel like I'm, I'd go through this once a year mm. and lately I've been doing it publicly, but you know, I, when I go through depression and mm. I go through like hard times, I got, I, I have, I let people know mm. because you know, I believe in prayer and I, I believe when people send good thoughts mm. that it works. Mm. And so I'm, I'm kind of in, in that state these days like i really and it's affecting my life it's affecting the people around me i know it you know i'm just being i'm making the wrong decisions i'm like uh and and i yeah but at the same time it just makes me irritable mm. you know and i know that i'm not the easiest to be around and so please come to my show on friday <laughs> on saturday <laughs> uh you know, see the worst of it. The um, world's worst pitch. Yeah, but maybe you can come and um, uh, put hands on and put hands on you and fucking pray for you at a bar. I could use a hug, is what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, um, Father God, please go into his intestines. <laughs> <laughs> we told that story on the show, right? Oh man, I was so I was like trying to keep it together. Now, now that I think about it. You know, for those of you guys that maybe let's repeat it really quickly, but some people may have not heard the story. But Danny, his first week in Korea, or were you visiting or something? No, it was, it, I was I was living here. Yeah, mm. uh, and then we got invited to a barbecue, mm -hmm. and we're like, "Oh shit, barbecue!" Like yeah. nobody does barbecues here, like, like a backyard. backyard barbecue with yeah. a grill, not like on some like random terrace and yeah. it's not samgyeopsal or kalbi it was scrappy yeah, yeah, yeah right and I, and so he was like he said to yeah he said come out come out whatever and yeah. then and i remember texting i was like hey what should we bring like a bottle of whiskey or yeah. like beer and he didn't respond yeah. so we just brought like beer yeah. and and stuff because we didn't want to come empty-handed and we show up it's like a church yep barbecue yep <laughs> well, like, here we are we have like a bottle of jameson yeah so a six pack of beer yeah. or like and um it's <laughs> like all right so and then at the time i was vegan right and so i couldn't eat any of the the food right so maybe like some bread and subak <laughs> and oranges <laughs> oranges, oranges yeah, yes yeah. yes yes and then they were like hey why aren't you touch having any food i was like oh i'm 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 vegan like, uh, oh, not because I want to be, it's because like, I have gout. And mm. then they were like, what's gout? <laughs> and then <laughs> they are like, uh, and then so this just happened to be like, oh, it's this disease, like I, you can't get rid of it. You know, it's like you you have it, you're, you you die with it. But, but see, but this is a fucked up thing that you mm. did. You could have taken that with yourself. Yeah, yeah. But you're like, oh, but Danny has gout too. Danny and has, I said, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was like, man, I don't want to have it. Somebody yeah, got yeah. on the microphone <laughs> or like the loudspeaker. Yeah. And it was like, wait, wait, wait one second right now. Hey, anyone here have gout? Has anyone heard of gout? And then like a couple other people yeah, yeah. had it. And they're like, I have gout. We're going to meet over here in this corner. We're gonna put, lay our hands on Bobby and Danny <laughs> and you guys. And we're good. And, and then so everyone was like, they made us sit down. They yeah. brought the plastic chairs and right. put us in like the duck duck goose circle. Right. 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 <laughs> Basically. <laughs> we, and then they put our their hands on, you know, I'm from a Christian uh, like background and so I'm a charismatic church and, and I'm used to that. But then I'm just like thinking of Danny the whole time, hands on us, 
prayer. I'm like, I believe in it. So I'm like, yeah, please pray the gout out of me, you know? But Danny, I just, I couldn't like keep it like together. I had to keep opening my eyes to look over at Danny to see how he's taking this. And I know he's writing his next bit in his, in his head. And so the, uh, mind you, like the uh, incredible people to do this, to pray for us and, you know, be so positive, but sure. they don't know what gout is. <laughs> so they're praying. I, I could hear what they're saying too. And Danny, and, and I can, only imagine what was going in his mind. Like they had his hands on Danny and me. And then they're like, they said, one guy was like, please just get in the joints and do something like- uh, Get in the intestines. Oh yeah, go, go through the esophagus. And he basically, did, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go through the tracheotomy, go yeah. go through the trachea and to the esophagus and through the through the, the lower intestines. And <laughs> yeah, literally lower intestines <laughs> and, and take out the- yeah. Look out, and yeah. And I was like, this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Like, um, and then after everything ended, they're like, all right, you guys don't have God on <laughs> Yeah. That's what they said to us. And I was like, yes. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm down with it. Yeah. Like, I was like, hell yeah. yeah. But then I was waiting for us to leave so I can ask Danny, like, hey, right. What was going through your mind? Yeah. <laughs> and it was like one of them was actually talking about my hair too. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I yeah. see. Oh yeah, he was like, oh, and I see he's got some like uh, <laughs> some some balding going yeah. on. <laughs> Lord, please go 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 to a scalp and uh, I was like, Jesus. I believe in miracles, man. I believe in prayer. I believe in in, in all of that, you yeah. know. And so, but a certain ex to a certain extent, I think. I have to believe it also, if that's what they're praying. So, so they're, okay, so, then, so so here's a question. Yeah. You believe in it. Yeah. They did that for you. Yeah. Right? Uh, and- I got another flare up like in a week. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you're going, man. <laughs> I, remember, I remember I got a flare up and I said, oh man. Did Danny, you think maybe if they took a different course through your body, <laughs> your yeah. anatomy, right? I think if I believed it, truly believed it, I think I, I, I did have some doubting uh, going in on my mind and that's where it just ended. You know, I, I believe that. But what if they didn't yeah. go through the esophagus? What if they went through like, you know, somewhere else? Like, Yeah, maybe they, they should have started from the feet up. <laughs> <laughs> so for all you yeah. uh people that that believe in putting hands on people and praying yeah. gout away try from the feet up yeah yeah and to the extremities you don't need to go into the innards and you know, I mean? you know not to make light of like um to I, I hope you i hope people don't think we're making fun of it oh we are yeah yeah but uh, I do believe in it, like to a certain extent. So I don't, I don't like completely like, I think it's right that I'm making fun of it, but I'm just like, I remember it does make me laugh when I think about your situation <laughs> and like the words that you were hearing yeah, and like just that situation. I was, I was like, like, this is some nonsense right now, yeah. <laughs> right now. And, and, and the funny thing is I tell this story to like my Christian friends mm. and they crack up, yeah. they laugh, yeah. you know, because it takes a certain amount of faith. Um, so, you know, and clearly you don't have faith. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, oh man, but man, oh, reminiscing, like that's what friends are for, right? Oh, now we're doing songs. Yeah. Um, ooh, <laughs> so Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday or this past Saturday? This past Saturday. Yeah. Uh, so I was hungover, but I did a show. Yeah. And I gave like 10% of, I don't even have good energy when I'm sober. Oh, oh. you did a show after all of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, damn. I'm fucked up. I'm just like, yeah, you know, just like mm -hmm. mumbling through shit. Yeah. Thankfully I powered through. Yeah. The show. Mm -hmm. Afterwards I was like, yeah, hey, let's go. You know, I haven't seen some of these guys in a while. So let's mm -hmm. go. Let's go eat. Yeah. You know? So we go to a cookie chip, we eat. Mm -hmm. And then one of the comedians goes, Young, have you heard of Woodstock? Yeah. And I was like, Yeah, I know Woodstock. He's like, Let's go to Woodstock. Oh, um, oh, like the place. Yeah. Like yeah the bar. Yeah. yeah in Hongdae? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we went there. Yeah. It's like an LP bar, kind of like you can request the songs. Or, right. Yeah. And uh, I decided not to drink that day. Mm -hmm. But since one of the kids got the dinner mm -hmm. for like eight of us, he spent like yeah. 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. So I'll buy you guys drinks. Yeah. So I bought them drinks, but I didn't drink, mm -hmm. but they were getting fucked up. Mm -hmm. And 
this is the time where now like in Korea particularly, I think people are just fucking sick of COVID. Mm. So like it's a madhouse everywhere. Yeah. And Woodstock was not packed when we got there. Mm. But then we started dancing with everybody in that the bar. Everyone else, like yeah. just the strangers. And, yeah. yeah. And it said on the table, please do not dance. Oh, really? But we disregarded it. Yeah. And the owner started looking at us. Yeah. But then the whole, not just us, but like other people yeah, yeah. who were dancing with like fucking like some German old lady over there yeah. and some like, you know, whatever. And it was just a good old time. Yeah, it's hard not to dance at Woodstock because, yeah. you know, you pick the right amount of songs, like mm. the right songs, and they're always gonna be upbeat, right? So I've I've had dancing nights at Woodstock. I didn't know that you couldn't dance. No, like I think I was I, all footloose rules in there. No, no, I think <laughs> I think it's because um I think it's because of COVID where like you can't dancing makes this place automatically a club oh it's a new rule like within the last like uh, few years okay. of, of whatever COVID. it's like you can't clap at shows you can't shout at shows yeah, 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 and stuff yeah. like that yeah. but now all that's pretty much slowly getting rolled back right yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, pr today was the first day that you didn't have to mandatory it's not mandatory for you to wear a mask outside yeah yeah uh but i have yet to see anyone not wear a mask outside everyone Same here. everyone is like locked and loaded well actually i, I totally forgot about it mm. so uh, on the way to work and then also you know uh today there was no one on the bus right it was weird and you know i and then I thought it was extra worse because uh, weird because when I get off the bus mm -hmm. at uh, by work, mm. there's so many people getting on the bus because it's a train stop too. Right, right. And nobody got on today, so I was like, "Is it Sunday?" <laughs> I was <laughs> like, "What the hell is going on?" And I realized yesterday was like a holiday mm. uh, that normally, if it were to land on a weekday, it would be a red day. Mm, so some mm. companies, I guess, gave oh, it's, people, uh, was it, people is, Labor Day is or it something. Buddha's birthday? That's like, next week. That's next week? Next Sunday. Mm. But we don't get Monday off. Mm. So, but some companies will still like mm. give people that day off. Mm. And so ours just doesn't abide by that. So. Terrible. <laughs> Fucking terrible. But, you know, this week we get Children's Day off, which is Thursday. And, um. Uh, I'm I'm thinking, you know, like for me, it's like when we have a red day off, mm. it, it's not a day off for me. It's like, I know it's a lot more work. <laughs> so, yeah, it's children's day. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, um, yeah, be with children. Yeah. But so we have like some, uh, we have some gifts for our kids and then, you know, our daughter's not going to remember. So we got more gifts for our son. And so he'd be more happy. And, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna add up, man. Mm hmm it's gonna add up yeah like your i know that that i definitely got more gifts yeah than my sister did uh and she feels she felt it yeah yeah right, right, right. I, I gotta do i i we're already very mindful of that like we have to make sure that lucy gets as much of attention in that way mm -hmm. as as possible but I've already realized I haven't been taking as much photos and videos of her. But then again, you know, I was home more when mm -hmm. Benji was born. Mm -hmm. um, I was, you know, working freelance. I was working from home. Uh, but now it's like, yeah, I try my best to, to do all of that. I haven't written her song yet, you know, um, so I have to you work did. on It's that. called I Love Lucy. Yeah, not really. <laughs> but... You know, like so. Oh, oh. Here's a, some good news. My my brother and sister in law, my my nephew, uh, got into UCLA. Oh. Right? So he got into all the UCs. Oh, dumb gonna, fuck. He's gonna yes. <laughs> yes. Not him, dumb fuck, yeah, but the guy, the yeah. kid who said. So he decided on UCLA. I think he also got into Cornell and stuff, but it's like on the East Coast. So he decided on UCLA. So they sent us a bunch of UCLA clothes. Nice. We're gonna, um, so we're excited to, you know, give that to the kids. Uh, I would like to uh, say that uh, you don't have to join KSA. Oh yeah, you, we're gonna have to look to you for some. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah like, I don't know, man, I haven't been, I've, I haven't been on campus obviously in a long time. I graduated oh. in 04. 
Like, um, I, I, first thing I did was I went on Google Maps to mm. see if Diddy Reese was still there. It's still there, right? Yeah. yeah. So it was just like, that's the only thing I could tell him. Like, oh, Diddy Reese is great. <laughs> oh, you know what? In Westwood, I remember there was a, uh, like a, like a burrito, like brick and mortar, small joint. I don't know if it's still there. It's, it's across uh, the street from Diddy Reese. Oh, okay. It's called Jose Bernstein's. Okay. Right. Well, Already n names fucking weird, right? Yeah. And they had a Kalbi Kimchi burrito. This was before Kogi came out. Oh, really? Did it have um, carrots in it? No, no, no. No, <laughs> it, no, it was, it was, I was, when I first had, I was really drunk. Yeah. But it was pretty fucking delicious. It was good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jose Bernstein's. I don't know. I don't right. know if it's still there. I don't know if it's still good. I'm right? sure he'll figure, find it all right. out. Right. But the one thing that they don't yeah. have, mm. they used to have a thing called Mongols. It was like where you build your own Mongolian barbecue mm -hmm. where you pack the meat, pack the noodles. Yeah, pack whatever, I remember and that. Then they fucking grill it for you yeah. and then you eat it there. Yeah. And uh, they used to have a thing called Mongol. I don't know if it's still there. I remember they had that at the Roma Center in um, K-Town. Hmm. In the basement. I told you, I told right. you that uh, I made a lot of changes to that establishment after I first got there. Because it was like something like it wasn't all you can eat, but you can pack that one yeah, bowl, yeah, yeah, with as much as you can. Right. right? So you know, obviously, as a poor college student, you're going to yeah. try to pack as much as you can. Yeah. But what I, you know, everyone obviously is, is frozen meat, so you're going to like flatten it and put it on the bottom of the bowl as much as you can. Yeah, yeah. You throw all the, the, the what do you call it, the vegetables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I, I don't, I never liked bro broccoli. Yeah. But then I was like, ooh, broccoli. So I built a fence through the perimeter of the bowl to make the bowl bigger, <laughs> <laughs> right? And I put so more stuff more. You made I, the bowl bigger. Yeah, I made the bowl bigger with a perimeter of broccoli, which yeah. I was not going to eat. Yeah. Right? And I packed it more. Yeah. And because of the 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 broccoli. Yeah. Like the noodles will stick on more. Yeah. So you can hold more noodles as well. Yeah. So I did that, and I saw the guy who 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 basically receives it and gives it <laughs> to the guy who does the who does the stir fry. Yeah. He yeah. looked at me like. <laughs> a week later I went yeah broccoli had no stems <laughs> <laughs> I was like oh shit <laughs> oh you did that I think you told us on the podcast before yeah, about yeah. something like um, like uh, they you've done this with other places where they had came up with remedies to oh yes 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 they uh mcdonald's to used to down. used to have something called a bucket of fries yeah but it didn't come in a bucket it came in a super size large cup oh they just put the fries in the cup. oh right, yeah, yeah okay. right, that was right, a, right, it was. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. and so we would go there order yeah. one of those yeah eat it and then go to the soda machine and then fill it up with whatever <laughs> soda, soda we want right yeah and they caught on, so they yeah. fucking punched a hole in the bottom of the cup. Yeah. But that did not stop us. <laughs> we plugged it from the bottom. Yeah. And just took turns drinking. We're fucking, in, oh, we're man. ghetto numbskulls, man. Yeah. Uh, but what, yeah. what what beat the 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 poorest and shittiest I've ever felt was not poorest, but like it felt shitty to do this. Yeah. I was uh, it was in high school, and we went to this Chinese restaurant because after we were like playing basketball, we were hungry. Uh -huh. But with amongst all four of us, we had like a total of eight bucks. Uh -huh. This is we didn't have credit cards or whatever. Yeah. So we decided it was four of us. So we ordered one fried rice mm -hmm. and got free rice on the side. The white rice. Yes. And throw it on top of the bowl of fried rice. Yeah, and you know how there's there's soy sauce. Yeah, yeah. We, that was the soy sauce. Oh yeah, we I think we, I heard we, we 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 made. it again. Yeah, and they ooh they were so mad. <laughs> <laughs> but college kids, you know, or like just when we're younger. Yeah, I I remember Pedro used to always get asked for a, a cup for water. Mm -mm. Right, mm. but 
He'd always fill it up with Sprite. <laughs> like, you know. Why does this why does the water have bubbles? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you yeah. know, we did a lot of uh ghetto stuff that like I look back on. I, mean, I don't feel guilty. I do feel, I don't feel bad about the McDonald's shit. Yeah. I actually don't feel bad about the Mongol shit. But I did feel bad about the Chinese restaurant. Yeah. McDonald's is a fucking franchise. They yeah. they're not lose. I don't care, right? But then Mongols, I thought it was ingenious mm -hmm. with the broccoli fence. Yeah, that, you know that's I mean? pretty. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty. I tried creative. it with the carrots, didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> that's hilarious. They cut the stems. <laughs> they cut the stems. I was like, oh. And they have like a special soup of the day: broccoli soup, <laughs> stem cream soup, of, cream of broccoli <laughs> stem soup. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, I mean, I mean, I know you. You've talked about your uh, your 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 poor days, right? When you were living alone in New York. Yeah, with, yeah. Uh, with, um, but was there any like funny, like the I don't know the way you you tell those <laughs> yeah. stories? It's fucking depressing, right? Yeah. But then, were there any like that's that's kind of funny, or was were all your I'm poor stories like just like depressing? Um, I, I don't know. It depends if who, who I'm like sharing it with. If, if I'm talking to Pedro about it yeah. and because we went through it together mm. and we reminisce, it's never sad. It's like, it's like, you remember those days? And then it, ultimately it, 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 we talk about, uh, we start laughing about it. Mm -hmm. Right. Or, you know, or there's so many f funny stories that we laugh about. Of yeah, course, yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, I mean that's what made it all worth it, I guess. Mm -hmm. I know I can't turn back time. Right. If I could have done turned back time, I would have probably not gone through that. But um I love the memories. Like yeah. uh, you know, like so I'm just trying to think though. Um I can't I mean really we do have a common we have we have a do we do have a common our family did some cheap shit <laughs> story where like if uh like if a Whopper was ninety nine cent, yeah, they buy twenty bucks. Oh, my mom and put it in the freezer. Did that all the time. Right. Put the cheap Whop Whoppers in the freezer. Right, right, then, right, right. Yeah, right. I loved it. You know, and when you pan fry a a Whopper, mm. sometimes when you pan fry it right, mm. like the cheese gets hard and the mm. bun is crispier, mm. uh, and sometimes it tastes better. Um, like those are sad stories. If you really think about it, but I wouldn't trade it. Yeah, like are you familiar with like, bologna? Absolutely, fried bologna. Hell yeah! Mm. Oh my gosh, I, you know, bologna was the cheapest luncheon meat you right. could get right at the supermarket. So that's we always had bologna. If you fry bologna, mm. it's got like bacon. It like it's not as good as bacon, right? But it does like. Kind of same family. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, uh, and it, if you like fry it up with like an egg mm. uh, and just do like a kerambap with it, that's another good move. Did you, uh, you know, because the thing about like, you know, whatever that brand was, wh whether your family used Oscar Mayer or whatever, right? Yeah. You know, it's a cir circle, right? So when you put it on the pan, it always domes up. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right? And you dome. have to flip, flip that shit over, yeah. right? Um, I told you that like I, uh, I, uh, I don't have a phobia of fire, uh -huh. but I got the shit kicked out of me because of fire. Oh yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. have, uh, so I, like if not necessary, I won't use fire. Okay. So it's rare for me to fry bologna okay. as a kid. I would just eat it. Raw, raw, kind of mm -hmm. like, uh, and I would, I would, <laughs> I was obsessed with making, like taking bites out of the bologna and making Batman silhouettes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah sure, yeah, sure, yeah, 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 like yeah. or make a, a mask. Yeah, 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 out of yeah, yeah, yeah. Who hasn't done that? Sure. I don't think some of our listeners. Oh really? Do. Have you not done that? Like, please let us know. Do you think? Do you think? Uh, um, so first of all, is if if you eaten bologna? Yeah. Do they know what it is in does, Korea? The, the, like, does that mean you grew up poor? 
If you don't oh. know what baloney is, yeah. does that mean that you your 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 family's economic st- status was at another level? I do remember seeing other kids with better luncheon meats, right? Like it, for us, it was either bologna hmm. or um, tuna fish with mayonnaise. Mm-mm. And it was always, I hated that because the bread was always soggy by the time <laughs> it was lunchtime. It gets stuck into the roof of your mouth. Oh man, I, I ne- <laughs> like, you know, and then I, other, I saw other kids with like roast beef and cheddar, mm. you know, it would just be, and it would be like, I remember, like being really envious of other people's lunches. Like mine would never uh, live up to it. Every now and then, mm. like for some reason, my mom would bought a sandwich at some deli. Ooh. Right? And that was my, like every blue, once in a blue moon. And you'd be, you'd be flexing though. You'd be and like, then I couldn't wait for lunch. <laughs> and then other kids would be like looking at my lunch. Like yeah. th- I remember those moments, but there were some kids that just ate well every day. Mm. And they didn't care, you know. I remember, um, yeah. So it's it's like, see, but for man. for school lunches, right? Like a sandwich, right? Is is yeah. the, is is the sandwich. Now, what's in the sandwich? Yeah. And um, I, I would even argue, if it's even cut, shows the class of the sandwich. Oh, if it's cut in, oh, right, down, like in a triangle, like down yes, the center. Yeah, yes, or, or diagonal. Squared. Yeah, I think, or even cut at all, I think yeah. is probably the lowest, uh, right? Yeah. Not fried, you just got raw cheese, bologna, and maybe yeah. some mayonnaise. And that's like the bottom of the, your parents don't care about you, <laughs> <laughs> right? You know? Yeah. And then, then you know, the, the, the class of sandwiches goes all the way up into like mm. deli bot. Yeah, yeah, you know, whatever, right? But I've always noticed that a sandwich, like a hot egg mm. on a sandwich, right away tastes amazing. Yeah, yeah. But if you make it in the morning and you wait till noon to eat it, yeah, it's like a you farted in your aluminum foil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that and it's a rubber duck, right, right, right for right. lunch, yeah, right. Uh, yeah. So, so we always had, uh, cause you know, in the beginning, my mom, uh, so in, in LA there's this, uh, I, I think it still exists. It's like this, the Korean appliance store. It's like the Korean mom and pop Daiso, mm-hmm. right? It's called Kim Sejunggi. Oh, Kim Sejunggi. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, I remember yes, that yes. in LA. Yeah. Right. And they would have like, uh, like fancy ass multi-layered, uh, tojirak. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, it, like it comes like it looks yeah. like a big ass thermos, and when you the unlock boxes, it, yeah, 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 yeah. Things, yeah. And then in the beginning, my mom wanted to be fancy, or not fancy, but be like you know Korean because she knows how to cook Korean food. Yeah. It was always like Korean food. Yeah. So like the first, the first layer was the rice, and then right. you put the second layer, panchan, like panchan, yeah, kimchi, yeah, 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 yeah. And <laughs> and then like like you know like a water bottle like that. Yeah without the label, mm. or sometimes it was, uh, what is it? The arrowhead label. Yeah, yeah. But it was not regular water. It was poricha. Oh, okay, okay, right? yeah. And so what she would do is she would freeze it overnight. Yeah. And then, so I know what her heart's telling her, yeah. right? Once I open it at lunch, it's gonna be ice cold. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna eat and enjoy this Korean toshira. Yeah. At the time in the, uh, late eighties in East LA, I was always made fun of because they were like, like they were always eating like the lunchables. Or no, like- no, no, no. The school, the 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 school, the school food provides them food because oh. of some ticket or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So they would get like the shitty like microwavable hamburger. Yeah, you know what I mean, like the potato chips, like you know like the imitation lays, like just, you yeah, know, like yeah. fucking whatever, right? The baked pizza bread. Yeah, the pizza bagels. Yeah, and, yeah, I was like, oh, I want, wow. Yeah. But I, here I am eating like pokumbap with kimchi. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which, and all the kids would make fun of me. Yeah, yeah. Because they would have like the fucking, the, the, the cardboard box juices. Yeah. And here I am drinking poricha and fucking all my friends like, that looks like piss. Hey teacher, he's drinking pee. Well, you know, whatever, right? <laughs> no. 
Yeah. But in hindsight, like you had the best meal. Yeah, actually. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. In terms of nutritional value, in terms of taste yeah. overall. And I remember like complaining to my mom, mom, how come, uh, how come I can't get the school mm -hmm. provided food? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she goes, because we are not poor. <laughs> That made me feel better a little bit, well, but, but it's fucked up though. <laughs> I remember the reason why I had to bring uh, lunch right. sometimes, actually it depended where, uh, my parents just didn't know how to properly like sign up for free lunch. Like mm. if you're poor, you can get free lunch right, right, right. by the school, but otherwise you have to pay right, right. like a dollar mm. or two dollars for your lunch. And I would, yeah, mm. so. Um, I knew that we could get free lunch, but I didn't know how to get connect the dots for my parents, you know? So mm -hmm. I just kind of like every day, uh, they'd either give me a dollar mm. to buy lunch mm. or I would get a bag of a sandwich, a, a paper bag mm. with like a tuna fish sandwich in it and like a Lay's chip, like, you know, the variety pack of Lay's chips. Yeah, 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 yeah. You remember that? You re and then, you know, you ne it would be something different every day, but like you're always hoping for the Cheetos. Cheetos are yeah. the cool ranch. But Doritos. there's always only one Cheetos in there, and the rest are like the regular Lay's <laughs> shit. Just like I hate oh, it. Though. Great. I still hate. That doesn't remind me of America. It reminds me of terrible chips. Is the, uh, the original Lay's? And then it's like the it's either plain Lay's, yeah, or. Lays with ridges. <laughs> ruffles, like, ruffles. Ruffles. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Doesn't make it any better. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Unless it's, it's like sour cream and chives. It's like, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't know what the fuck a chive is. It's like, <laughs> like okay. it's just like, yeah, it was either that or like if we I had a dollar, I remember just pocketing the money and I wouldn't ever buy lunch. And I was just a skinny kid mm. um, in elementary school. And I remember my mom found a box, a shoe box full of dollar bills one time. Mm -mm. Just cause, you know, that was my own, only way of like making money mm -mm. back then. Mm -mm. And uh, if if either Eddie would find it and steal it or take it for himself, mm -mm. or um, this one time my mom found it and she was furious, mm -mm. you know, cause she's trying to figure out why this kid's so skinny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like whatever she does, like, you know, I'm not eating at school. I'm not like, you know, when you're a kid, you're resilient, you know, you have energy like uh, off of like, I mean, at least for me. So, um, and then I, and I hated the soggy sandwiches. So I, I would barely like touch that either. Yeah, the, the soggy sandwiches were always a problem, but what made, so, okay. After the Korean stuff, I said, mom, none of this Korean stuff. Yeah. I'm getting into fights because of the shit, right? Mm -hmm. So now she was trying to Americanize. Yeah, yeah. Well, see the thing is, my parents owned the liquor store, but our house was attached right mm -hmm. behind it, right? That's right, yeah, yeah. But then back then, now that now that we rent out the store, we, we blocked it off. But before, there yeah. was a window. Yeah. So from the kitchen, there was a window into the store. Uh -huh. And um, at night, my mom was like, after she, you know, everyone locked up, she said, oh, fuck, I forgot to, you know, get your chips or whatever. Yeah. Bring whatever you want. Yeah. So I would jump through the window yeah. and then uh, get like flaming hot Cheetos. Uh, something like that. And a, and a Snapple iced tea or Arizona oh, iced nice. tea. Oh, nice, okay, right? yeah. So the sandwich game, not so good. Okay. Right? But the chips and- Oh, drink. the chips, oh, I I was flexing on my, how you like your yellow lace, motherfucker? <laughs> Bam, yeah. flaming hots. <laughs> you know, I had my- <laughs> my high C box yeah. <laughs> or like Capri yeah. Sun was a big deal back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it all tasted garbage. Yeah. You know, I, uh, at one point they had those like pop, like those, uh, those twist off. Right, right, right. Last, I forgot what yeah. those were. Yeah. They didn't taste any good either. <laughs> None of them like, did. Yeah. None of them really taste good. It was just the, the, the novelty of like this weird looking bottle. And then they had the high C Ghostbusters ecto, ecto plasma yeah, 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 yeah. drinks, and it's just like, uh, as an adult, like you think about it, it's like 
man, they just ran out of ingredients. I just like put it, put the words, just like figure it out. Like, how do we use the rest of this stuff? It just needs Why to taste fruity. Fruit? <laughs> yeah. Whatever fruit, it doesn't, what kind of fruit though? It doesn't matter. It just needs to be fruity. I remember at home we had, um, you know, we would make our own lemonade or, or punch, right? Um, and it was always like country lemonade or something. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it came in those big uh, tubular, yeah, I yeah. can't speak English yeah, anymore. Yeah. And then it came with a scoop in there. Right. Uh, that, that was a big deal too. Like at some point, like I had a canteen, I think, and I would make it in the canteen and take, take that to school. Uh, I remember when I was a Boy Scout, I did that. You were a Boy Scout? Yeah, I was. Um, How many, uh, what do you call it, badges? What do you call them? Like Not a lot. They don't give out badges to lazy motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, you know, they have the... I didn't know you were a Boy Scout. What the fuck? You Holy really had shit. The, Oh man, why are you telling me this an hour into this goddamn show? <laughs> now I got so many questions. They have those, uh, you know, they have the derby races with the box that you, you carve out, the, mm. you carve your own. I've, what do you call those things? Like you, you have your own races with uh, make your own cars. Mm -hmm. and they, they have a track. Mm. Uh, and, you know, some people, they, that, that clearly their parents are carving them out right. Ferraris and like yeah. really nice looking cars yeah. and putting the wheels and painting it and stuff. Right. And you know, I had nobody like that. My yeah. brother wasn't going to help me. Yeah. So literally it's a block, it's a wooden block oh. uh, that you're supposed to carve out, mm. but I didn't know how to do that. No one would help me. So I just had the wheels on there mm. and I had nothing carved or painted or drawn on. I think maybe I drew the windows on there. <laughs> so it was a van. Yeah, it was a van. <laughs> you had a van. <laughs> yeah. Like they weren't giving out any badges to me. Like no, like- You I, know how I to tie knots or whatever? No, like I could barely tie my shoes. So I was like, <laughs> cause, cause I, I always opted for the Velcro, you know? It was just like, that's the fucking, that's the, the, the episode, the name of the episode. I think I started off as like a wee below or something like that. Like you can't be a boy scout till you're maybe in fifth grade or I don't know. It's like- It's called a, like, a wee below? Yeah, they have different levels, right? Huh. I remember I was a wee below. Was there a cup a scout? scout? Maybe a cup scout. Huh. I, I don't know. Huh. I didn't, I didn't last very long. I think I was just a Did wee you below. wear like the brown like shorts with the- No, it was the... blue and then yellow oh. fringe, I guess, or- because no, I sort of handkerchief. I, <laughs> I am fascinated by the Boy Scouts because of the yeah. fact that I don't think that that organization kind of made it to East LA. Maybe if, oh. if 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 they did, then I sure as hell didn't know about it. So like, I remember like senior year of uh, high school. Uh -huh. My best friend was like, "Hey man, can you come to my Eagle Scout ceremony?" Oh, it was an Eagle Scout. That's a Big deal. Right, right. Yeah. So like, it's, apparently it's like the black belt of fucking Boy Scouts, right? Like, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So I was like, oh, all right. And so like, I go to this ceremony yeah. and I'm like, this is some shit that I've, I would like, I, I heard of the Boy Scouts yeah. like in like children's movies. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. references, you know? Yeah. They, that's how they get um, you to go to like a lot of uh, Eagle Scouts. Mm -hmm what's next what do you do from there like right, you, right. you you work so hard to get all this yeah. uh all these fucking patches and stuff. <laughs> like what do you what's next right yeah. so a lot of eagle scouts actually end up becoming uh Child cops <laughs> <laughs> like uh you know uh, law enforcement or uh go to the army and stuff oh really um from what i understand you can probably google it but like ask Ask a handful of cops, like mm -mm. if they're, if they were Eagle Scouts, like maybe you might get lucky. Like, a, I don't know. I'll, why why I'll would I, why, why would I get lucky finding an Eagle Scout cop being like, so. And you, you could ask them about their badges. What, I'll, what's your. I'll be most, like, hey, so uh, like, did your dad help you with the car thing? Did, yeah. you, help me? <laughs> did you make a van <laughs> or did you make a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. you know what i you know what i realized i i haven't done in a long time uh is like you know back in the days when i used to tour a little bit uh -huh. like 
I would, you know, take different modes of transportation, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing I realized was that, like, have you ever been on, like, you booked it on, like, Travelocity or Expedia or whatever those sites are? Yeah. You booked a flight. Yeah. So you expect a first class and a, and a, and a economy, right? Like, yeah. like you in your mind, you go, okay, they have more room, and then it goes back, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know why I thought about this, but it was kind of like I did. So I did. It was like an army base tour, mm -hmm. right? And so I forget. It was somewhere in Missouri. I forget what the 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 base was called. Fort whatever, mm -hmm. but um, I had to, so I did the show and I got there in a, not even a normal plane. Mm -hmm. You know, the, you know, the planes where it's like one row on one, one side and then two rows on the other side, no first class. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, right? yeah you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. then you're like, this is kind of a bus with wings, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, you know, and then yeah. the pilot does like all of, like sometimes we'll be like hey can you can you sit over there and can can you yeah. sit over there like as if to like eyeball like the shift in weight the balance there. of the, the weight yeah <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah and i'm like scary uh, shit even that yeah so i flew into the 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 uh the fort that way okay mm -hmm. coming out coming out was crazy so there's an airport on base. Uh -huh. So I, I get there. I had to fly to Missouri. Mm -hmm. And I was the only one at this airport um, Airport in the base. Yeah. And there's this one dude, you know, just checks my ID. Okay, thank you. Do you have any bags? Yeah, here's my bag. I'll yeah. take that. Uh -huh. He takes it. And there's maybe like four people uh -huh. now. Okay. Okay, okay, all right, it's time to board, right? Yeah. The same guy who took my bag yeah. opens the door to this plane that had wings, like 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 the propellers. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. You know? And I was like, what kind of shit is this? I got this on like Expedia or some shit, yeah. you know? So we get on this plane and it's pretty much one of them like it has like it's a fucking carnival. You know, uh, the, you know, like the carnival minivans over here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It fits six, seven people. Okay. Right? It's still a bomba plane. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was, yeah. it was a, it was a Hyundai Carnival with fucking wings, right? At least the other one had more people in yeah. it, right? Now here's a here's like a passenger like a six seater passenger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he looks at me, and so the the pilot, I can see him. Yeah. There's no window or no, he, he looks at me. I'm sitting behind the pilot, and he goes. Hey, uh, I need your help. Oh no! When I said, "What's up?" And he goes, "Can you sit next to me, like a co-pilot?" And I was like, "I'm not ten. I don't want those wings. I don't, I don't yeah, you know, yeah, do yeah, any of this shit. Yeah. I'm not qualified for this shit." Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't worry. The, my co-pilot called in sick. Oh my gosh! And I, don't worry. You don't have to do anything. Yeah, you know. I was yeah. like, "Oh, okay." So I sit. Yeah. Co-pilot. <laughs> what the fuck? And then so so so, so 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 he doesn't obviously I didn't have to put on like the headset or yeah. whatever. But now he's going okay, blah blah blah. blah we're, we're ready for takeoff. Yeah. The same fucker. Yeah. That took my bag, checked my ID. Yeah. Got the fucking lights and he's doing he's doing <laughs> right, right, right. I'm like, yo, man, this is this is some janky ass shit, man. <laughs> And they go say, hey, can you press that button? I was like, I don't, what button is that button right what? there? I was like, why? All right, I'll push it. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, man, like, I'm like, I don't know. man, like, I'm not, look, look, man, like, why are you doing this to me, dog? <laughs> and so it's like one of them planes that you don't yeah. even fly high. Yeah, yeah. So you're like flying, like, like, thankfully yeah. it was like way early, like five in the morning. Uh -huh. So it's still dark. Yeah. But you can basically see that if it was like a, like a 20 story building, yeah. you were, you were parallel. You could see, you could see through the window, like. There's someone in the back <laughs> drop, dropping off drugs. It's like, it's low enough to drop bags yeah. of cocaine. Dude, you <laughs> could jump off and not get hurt, man. I was just like, what? We are fucking low, man. You I know? saw that in a movie. Yeah. I think it was Blow or something. Yeah. Like that. yeah. Okay. That, I remember like going, I don't ever want to experience that. Mm -hmm. I, like, obviously, you know, nothing happened, but like, 
from from the one guy who checked me in, took my bag, put yeah. it in the plane. Then he opened the door, loaded everybody up. Yeah. He had the fucking the, the yeah. directional. <laughs> He's fucking doing this shit, <laughs> right? I was like, oh man, that was oh, that man. that. And you know, it's five in the morning. I, I yeah. barely got sleep, so I wanted to sleep on the plane, thinking that it was gonna be at least the bus situation. Yeah. No, it wasn't the bus situation. <laughs> I had to be awake for the sake of these other yeah. four motherfuckers. Yeah. These lucky, uh, maybe not even not so lucky. They're probably yeah. even more freaked out than I'm. What is that Chinese guy doing over there? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, but uh, I don't know why I brought this up, but I just thought about, like, yeah. I haven't been, like, what's the worst uh, travel story, like, transportation story you have? Oh, uh i i mean uh all right we'll end with this yeah. i guess um probably the worst situation i've ever been in was in hindsight i feel bad for the person but like i remember i was on a plane from boston mm -hmm. to uh, la i think mm -hmm. something like that and um i remember like um early on in the flight there was a a guy running back running to the back and mm. everyone's freaking out we mm. don't know why he's running mm. from the front of the plane to the back mm. and he stops right in front of me mm. drops to his knees mm. turns his head towards me mm. and he pukes On onto my lap Ooh, right and um i remember uh he uh i just remember like i couldn't believe what was happening like mm. He passed out, mm. and then I looked down. He was wearing khakis, mm. and then I saw it get brown, Ooh. and like you know, so it it smelled really bad. Mm. And um, I remember they uh, they helped him. They found a doctor. He had food poisoning. I felt really bad for him, mm. you know. But he ended up having to throw away his clothes, mm. you know. And when he left, he left in blankets. Mm. You know, they gave him blankets, and then. But for me, nobody came over to ask me if I was, I had to clean myself up. Uh, the pile of stuff right next to me in the aisle, they just put a blanket over it. And over time, it just kind of like went all over the place. It just smelled ter terrible. It was awful. Mm -mm. Uh, and I remember just thinking I was like, like covered in all this stuff mm. uh, and not a single person came over to help me out uh that was that was pretty awful did you not ask yeah. like did you ask, when you got to la or whatever did you be like okay i right. wrote a letter uh i wrote a email <laughs> and i got reimbursed actually oh you got reimbursed like, okay yeah. okay because right. uh, no one helped me like yeah. if someone helped me i'll be like you know what it, shit happens you know people like literally yeah so um i felt bad mm. uh that the guy had to go through that he probably felt worse you know so like um, a lot of stuff on the plane just goes wrong for me. I remember one guy I sat next to, he was dozing off mm. and he had a cup of coffee in his hand, Ooh. right? He's like, literally, it was like, uh, like this, right? Yeah. I'm the guy, right? Yeah. And I'm sitting there and I can see him dozing off. I'm just like, please just finish your coffee first, yeah. you know? And then our, we hit some turbulence at one point oh, no. and he woke up and he, he went like this, uh. all the coffee on me, right? And I, I, he and he fell asleep oh. after that. And what do I do? What do I say? What do I do? Like you know, I can't really get anything out of that. So I, I wrote the airline again, mm. and I said, "Hey, so I went through this situation. I I might have said like nobody helped me, mm. like, <laughs> and they didn't reimburse me. Uh. <laughs> like, yeah, that's not as bad, but you know, um, yeah. I mean, a lot of a lot of." shitty things so yeah, I'm, I'm sure you're yeah. like you you have slight P ptsd when you get on planes right i don't like the situations that things that happen to me i feel like i'm like I cursed like, yeah when it mm. comes to certain things mm. and um he looks yeah. like a good person to throw up on <laughs> yeah like an entire plane why and why'd you have to turn your head like just puke in front of you <laughs> you know I, I just could not believe why he had to turn towards me. It's racial it's like, profiling. He was like, it's like there he is. <laughs> unless God has a sense of humor and he knew I would tell that story on this podcast. 
And so and only 150 people are going to watch. I literally thought we were just going to go like 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. We had nothing to talk about, mm -hmm. but we're like way over an hour now. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm, I, I think we should cut it. Uh, yeah. Cut it now before we go even longer. I, I'm glad we, we talked this much, mm -hmm. you know, um, like I said, this is very, it's like therapeutic for me, this right. podcast. Right. Uh, with all the guests that we've had in the past, this is kind of a nice break, at yeah. least for me. Yeah. That we'll probably only get like 100 views on this one. Or Whatever. I found, you know what? I found out that you yeah. were a Boy Scout. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not for long, though. Jeez. Yeah. All right, well. Is it the same? Is it the same? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't listening. I was, yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time on the Noonji Podcast. Bye-bye. Later. Bye.